Welcome to Katanga City. Experience the adventures, relaxation, peace, ambience, foods, and a lot of more here in Batanga City, Philippines. Batanga City is the largest and capital city of the province of Batanga, Philippines. The city is also known as the industrial port city of Calabarzon and is currently classified as one of the fastest urbanizing cities of the Philippines. So before I tour you, let me share a brief history of Batanga City. Due to migration, the first Spanish missionary first came to Batangas. It was in the year 1581 that the Spanish authorities created a pueblo in the area. The town was named as Batangan because of huge logs, locally called as Batang, which abounded in the place. The first gobernadocelio was an appointee of the Spanish government by the name of Don Agustin Casillao. When the Americans came in the early of 1900s, local civil government of Batangas was organized. Jose Villanueva was elected as municipal president on July 4, 1901. However, when the Japanese came and when the war broke up, Batangas was among those who did not escape the destruction. The city was severely damaged during the Japanese A6M0 bombardment with the Batangas airport totally destroyed. December 12, 1941, a man with the name of Roman L. Perez was appointed by the Japanese authority to be the mayor. Now, let me tour you. According to 2010 census, Batangas has a total population of 300,607 people. Its total land area is 282.96 square kilometers. The people are usually referred to as Batangueño and Batangueña. Batanga City has extremely popular spots for its well-known beaches, particularly the Isla Verde or Verde Island. It is one of the largest known concentrations of coral within the Philippines, or for the world as a whole as in Batangas on Verde Island's passage, where there are 300 different species. This is also deemed to be the center of marine shore fish biodiversity in the world. The city of Batangas gears up activities on trade, finance, education, and medical services for most part of the province. As a center for trade and commerce, it hosts one of the largest oil refineries in the country. It is the center of education, 
with three largest universities in the province, and recently more international schools have chosen the city as their campus sites. Matangi City is also known for its churches and missionaries. One of these is the Parish of the Holy Trinity. The Parish of the Holy Trinity, also called Santissima Trinidad, is the youngest among the parishes of the Immaculate Conception in Batanga City. It was only established last 2007, but it has its own charm. The community had a hand building the church, making it an integral part of the neighborhood. Tanganyas are friendly and festive people. There are a lot of festivities each town celebrated for the year around. Batangas has many products that it has become famous for such as embroidery, balisong or butterfly knives, kapeng barako or brewed coffee, lambanog, chicharon, and bulalo. Batangi City has the second largest international seaport in the Philippines after Metro Manila. The identification of the city as an industrial growth center in the region and being the focal point of the Calabarzon program resulted to the increasing number of business establishments in the city's central business district, as well as the numerous industries operating at the province's industrial parks. The city's mission is to improve quality of life of the citizens, through sustained efforts to attain a balanced agro-industrial development, to promote a business-friendly environment, and to generate more employment opportunities, and to adequately provide the basic infrastructures, utilities, facilities, and social services necessary for a robust community.